Yeah, hello, good day to you all over the world. Welcome to my YouTube channel where you can learn about NetApp uh, on tap. Perhaps you're wondering what NetApp on tap is. I'm sure before you can stumble on a video like this or before you can search for a tutorial like this, you know what NetApp on tap is. Um, I'm going to be taking you through the first process of getting your hands strong in this um, regard. I'm going to be walking you through how to download the NetApp simulator. Uh, simply do this. Go to your browser. Go to my support .com. That's the first way to go. Once it's loaded, um, you probably might need to create an account. You create an account. If you're creating an account, you'll see you have your registration here. But I have an account, so I'm just going to sign in to my NetApp account. So because for you to be able to do that, you need a, a, a standard a NetApp account to download the simulator. So I'm going to log in. So now I'm logged in. Perhaps you might wonder, you don't actually need a password to log in. What NetApp does is once you put in your email that you're registered with NetApp, it sends you an OTP, a one-time password that a one-time password is sent to your email account, and with that you can log in. Now I'm logged in and um, I'm going to come to tools. You come to tools, click on tools. From the tools, we'll be able to download that. So from tools, search, just search sim simulator. Yeah, so you have it. Simulator, click on download app. Now there are several variations, but before we go to the different uh, versions, I want to tell you something. Now, this is where I probably got stuck at first when I wanted to do this. I the configuration of your system for NetApp is very important. You need a minimum of a 12, you need a minimum of 12 gig. RAM to run the simulator. Why? Because each of the nodes would run at least 5.1. That's approximately 6 gig RAM. It takes 6, 6 gig RAM to run a node. Now, if you bring the two together, you have 12 gig, 12 gig RAM, then you probably will need to get a 16 gig RAM system. A 16 gig RAM system. Uh, you can upgrade your RAM to that or probably get a 16 gig RAM system that will be able to do that. Then you also need a 40 gig space, 40 gig space on your hard disk. Then a draw core system would also go. I use a Windows 10 and 64 bits. That would be top notch. Mind you, we're going to be using this uh, on tap simulator with a virtual machine we're going to be provisioning it on the we are going to be using it with a virtual virtual machine so you probably would need to watch the next video on how to download the vmware uh workstation we'll get the community version downloaded on our system that's the next thing the next thing we're going to be doing on the next video so now let's go straight down to business so we'll, you need to agree with the with the end user license agreement. You click on accept. Then once I accept, it will be giving me. Once you accept, now the the system is going to load the different versions for me. Now there has been improvement over time. We had there was a time it was nine point five. We had nine point six, nine point seven, nine point eight, nine point nine one, and the two latest versions are nine point ten one and nine point eleven. Uh, on my system I have. I have uh, the 9 .9 .9, 9.9, 9.10, 9 9.11. But for this tutorial, I'll be going for 9.10 or 11. I, I, I'll leave you to decide that. But okay, let's go for 9.11, the latest version. So you download the 9.11 dot, use this 11. So that means you're downloading this file. You're downloading this, the OVA file, the dot OVA file, the Installation guide, the C mode license is also important for you to download. So you need to download this as well. 
So once you downloaded that, we're good to go. So click on download. It's going to download on your system. And once you have downloaded that, meet me in the next video.